Stomach cancer continues to be a major problem in the United States, mostly because we have a very high incidence of obesity and of gastroesophageal, gastroesophageal reflux disease. The pattern of gastric cancer in the United States is also different to other countries. So for example, in uh, Japan or China, where stomach cancer is one of the most common cancers, it's mostly found in the end of the stomach, which makes it easier to treat in terms of surgery and chemotherapy. In the United States, we tend to see um, stomach cancers that are more at the beginning of the stomach, where the esophagus meets the stomach. And that may well be related to um, a very, very high incidence of gastroesophageal reflux disease because of the number of people that are taking antacids, proton pump inhibitors for the treatment of uh, acid uh, reflux. Any person that has unexplained weight loss or abdominal pain should see their doctor. And the way we make the diagnosis is by endoscopy. Um, a tube is placed down the esophagus into the stomach and then a biopsy is uh, performed. Um, it's then important to determine the clinical stage of stomach cancer, which we do with the help of imaging such as CAT scan or MRI or even PET scan to determine whether the cancer is localized or whether it has um, spread beyond the stomach. If the tumor is localized and very early, surgical um, options are, give the best chance for cure. Surgery and gastrectomy can be performed using minimally invasive approaches such as laparoscopic or robotic uh, techniques with a very uh, good recovery. If the tumor is uh, more advanced, then chemotherapy is often given to shrink the tumor down to then enable the surgeon to do an operation that has a greater chance of achieving uh, negative margins. And there are randomized trials now that have shown that giving chemotherapy before surgery in stomach cancer has a survival advantage. Many people ask um, if they're diagnosed with stomach cancer, can you survive without a stomach? Well, fortunately, we don't need a stomach to live a normal life. That doesn't mean that the entire stomach needs to be removed in patients with uh, stomach cancer. Sometimes it's just part of the stomach. But if the entire stomach does need to be removed, then the esophagus can be connected to the small intestine where the absorption takes place and people can live a normal life. Often results in weight loss after the procedure, but um, the combination of lifestyle and eating multiple small meals a day results in a, uh, in a normal life. So we are in a good place in the year 2022 where we have better surgical techniques. We have many more uh, uh, therapies such as chemotherapy and now we're using immunotherapy to treat patients. And so our cure rates are going up. And so there is some optimism in both the diagnosis and the treatment of stomach cancer.